Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome uh, Gabriela, Magali, and Cynthia, good to see you. Let's see, maybe Roxana, uh, Magali too, welcome. Thank you for coming early. Let's start with the class. And um, I'm going to pass the attendance. Let's see, maybe at the end of the class. Okay, so let's get started. Let's make a review of the topics that we have been studying. Debemos hacer un review, right? Un repaso acerca de los temas of the topics that we have been studying. Okay, ¿qué estudiamos? What did we study in this week? Karina, please. ¿Qué hemos estado estudiando, Karina? Hola, hola, Karina. Hello. Hola, hola, hello. Ah. Okay. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening. What uh, did we study? ¿Qué hemos estudiado, Karina? Eh, la, hemos uh, studied daily routine. Mm -hmm. Daily routines, yep. Uh -huh. And use the does and do. Mm -hmm. And the third person. The person. The third person. Ah. And my favorite song. <laughs> hey, yes, right. Yes, the favorite songs, right? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Very good. Thank you, Karina. Okay, what else can you add to the, to the list? Maybe. ¿Qué más podemos agregar? About what we have been studying, right, these days. Hello. Hello. Uh, study uh, some popresa. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, right. Simple present. La short, short answer. That's right. Short answers, right? Short answers. Very good. Okay, thank you, maybe. Exactamente, All right. We have been studying the simple present structure, the daily routines. Bien, eh, la semana pasada we have, uh, we studied the, these that, those, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, guys, let's get started with the lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to review, right, some of the daily activities, some time expressions that we can use with the simple present. So let's see what we have. Remember that we have the task, right, about your daily routine. So um, I'm going to start. I don't know if there is a person who wants to share. Volunteers, I think you here to describe the daily routine. Yes. Okay, Vero, thank you. Go ahead, please. Thank you. No. Ay, no, otra vez lo hice, Dios mío. Uy, teacher, perdón, buenas noches. Good, good, good evening, good evening. Pero, Pero ¿qué debo Era hacer? Para debo leer. Bien, ¿verdad? <risa> Solo puedo decir, ay, no. Teacher, ¿y qué debo hacer? ¿Leer todo eso? No, no, eso es una tarea que les dejé ayer, antes de terminar la clase. Pero si no, ya levantó la mano para decir good evening. Estamos bien. <risa> ay, pero, okay. ¿qué? Ah, bueno. O sea, bueno, ok. Tratando de terminar esa información mientras sus compañeros pasan y al final le doy la, la oportunidad para que pueda presentarlo, ¿verdad? Right? Vaya, de acuerdo. Okay. Con base a esta a este um, ejemplo that we have here, so I think you can present at the end. Okay. okay. Bueno, ok. Ok, so let's listen, let's listen a uh, Jose. Let's listen to Jose. Ok, ready or no? Vi que levantó la mano. Okay. No. <ríe> Qué mala. ¿Cómo se dice mala en inglés? So bad. <ríe> so bad. Ok. Um, my name is Jose Gómez. I am a student. Uh, I get up at uh, five o'clock in the morning. And I brush my teen is washed. My heart is face. T 
Then I go out for a morning walk. I come back at six um thirty thirty mm -hmm. o'clock and take my bath. After that, have my blood fast. Is going to school. Okay, ese es el, el daily routine, right? Esta persona, usted, es ese es su daily routine? Mm -hmm. Su daily routine, José. Uh, so, ¿Qué es lo so. que hacemos? Por ejemplo, um, do you take the, the bath at 6.30? Lo tenemos a las seis y media. Um, do you go to school, por ejemplo? Um, no, uh, my work. To my work, right? Podemos cambiar. I go to work. Ok. Ok, so who wants to present? Recordemos que estamos describiendo nuestras rutinas. Nuestra daily routine. Este es solo un ejemplo. Uh, you can present your own one, right? Ok, so let's listen another person. Um, let's see, maybe Alison Marroquí. Uh, can you present your daily routine? Okay. Uh, okay. Hello. My name is Alison Marroquín. I am a worker and a student. I get up at 5.30 o'clock in the morning. I take a shower and then I get my breakfast. And then I brush my teeth and, and go to my work. Mm -hmm. And I work to eight at five p.m. Mm -hmm. After that, I go to the gym. I exercise, mm -hmm. and sometimes two or three <laughs> three times a week. Mm -hmm. And now I. Uh, take a, a class yeah <laughs> and after uh, wash my my teeth and uh, I get my dinner mm -hmm. and sometimes I do the off the the homework and then I get a sleep mm -hmm. I, I, is I get a sleep or only I sleep I go to I go to bed or I sleep. Ah, okay. I go to the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Do you? How much time do you spend in the in your cell phone? Let's say how much time. Oh. Do you spend? Actually, I spend the two one hours one two hours in all day. Okay, that's good, right? Because most of the people, including me, right, uh, don't spend like one or two hours. I spend more hours in the traffic. <laughs> yes, yes, I imagine that the traffic is so horrible these days. Okay, perfect presentation, Alison. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Alison. So let's listen one person more. Um, can you please present your daily routine, maybe, um, Roxana? Do you have your daily routine? Good evening. Good evening, Roxana. Um, my name is Roxana Vega. Mm -hmm. I am a nurse. I get up at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. I work in a clinic. Mm -hmm. I work in, um, no sé cómo decirlo. I work from, for example, desde las ocho. Uh, well, I work, como uh, decir, desde las 7 a las 4 de la tarde. From 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's that's it, right? You work from seven to five in. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Okay, what about uh, what is your uh, yes, Alison? Or how do you say uh, voy a dejar uh, a mi hermano al colegio? Okay, I take take off take my son, su hijo, your son. Mm -hmm. My brother. Oh, my brother. My brother to school, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Alison. Okay. Thank let's, you. Okay. Let's listen to. Let's see. Um, maybe you can help us, Karina, with your schedule. What is your schedule like? Okay. Um, my name is Karina. Mm -hmm. I am teacher. Uh, um, I get up at six o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. I brush my teeth and I wash my hand and face, face, mm -hmm. face and face. And face. Uh, I push my, uh, I prepare, pre ¿Cómo se dice preparar? Oh, prepare. Mm -hmm. Prepare, uh, prepare my, my breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that I go to my job. I work for around uh, eight hours. 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 Mm -hmm. And come back. I come back at five p.m. I prepare some something, something to eat. And I went to sleep at uh, 10, 10 p.m. I got ah I uh, I I remember <laughs> over there. <laughs> I I say este, study English in eight at night at at ten p.m. Mm -hmm. and then uh, I go to the bed at uh, eleven more or less. Okay, that's good. That's good, right? <laughs> All the routine you have, right? Okay, perfect. You said everything correct. Okay, thank you, Karina. So let's listen. Uh, one more. Uh, let's see, one more person. Let maybe uh, Alejandra. Do you have your daily routine? Hello, Alejandra. No, okay. So maybe in Gabriela, do you have your daily routine? Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Gabriela. Uh, my name is Gabriela Moreno, and I am a, stu a student and a worker. I wake up at four a.m. Uh, I brush my teeth, and then I take a shower, and then I get dressed. And then I cook my breakfast and my lunch, mm -hmm. and then I go to work. Mm -hmm. And at night, I have classes at the university mm -hmm. from 5 and a half p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And finally, I have the English class, and then I do homework, and at the end, I fall asleep. Okay, at the end, you, at what time do you go to sleep? Mm, maybe at 11 p.m. to 12. 11 to 11 to 12. Wow. Really, how many hours do you sleep? How much time do you sleep? About five hours. Five hours, really? Can you handle that? ¿Cómo es que usted puede tener esas handles, right? Handle. Lidiar with. Is it tiempo? Can you? Are you sleepy during the day? Are you like sleepy? In the bus. In the bus. Do you sleep in the bus? Okay, that's a good time, right? Okay, thank you, thank you, Gabriela. So let's see. Um, okay, I don't know if there is a person who wants to share the the daily routine. Is there anybody? No. 
If not, I can proceed to the next, with the next one. Okay, let's go with uh, some vocabulary we have in this lesson, some verbs, right, that we use them when we talk about daily routines. Sí, yeah. have... mm -hmm. Yes, Alison. Perdón, es que se, Perdón, Alison, se, Alejandra. Se desconectó justo cuando me, me mencionó. Yo no había visto la... La actividad, pero eh, intenté hacerla. Ok, por favor, if you can present. My name is Alejandra. I am a work and student. I had kept uh, head up at six o'clock in the morning. And I showered um, and had ready for work. Uh -huh. I prepare, creo que se dice prepare, prepare. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. my breakfast uh -huh. and lunch, uh -huh. and I go to my work uh -huh. in the afternoon in return and home, uh -huh. and then I go to the English class, and finally in sleeping. And finally you go to sleep. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So there you have the, the daily activities you have. So thank you so much to the ones who participated. Okay, let's go with some of the vocabulary that we use, right, a lot. We have the verb fall, fall, right, is when you fall down, when the sky is right. Then we have the verb talk, talk by phone, hablar, right, talk. Then we have the verb touch, Touch, it is the cat. Then we have the verb for, for that it is stand. And I said that yeah, like stand. Then we have the verb lie down, que es acostarse, recostarse to. Then we have the other one, number six, that it is hug, abrazar, hug. And then we have uh, the verb wave way is more, more than money, right? And uh, then we have number eight, que es el verbo cry. Then nine, that is sit. Ten, we have that it is smile, sonreír. And then we have 11, that it is laugh, laugh. Okay, so I don't know if you have uh, questions about the the verbs no sé si tengamos preguntas sí. la primera teacher cuál era <laughs> fall fall es como caerse okay Gracias. y la número cinco number five it is uh, lie down it is it is recostarse o acostarse lie down lie down Lie down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And number five, number four. Sorry. Number four. It is stand. Es permanecer de pie, right? Stand. Uh, mm -hmm. Eleven. Number eleven. It is laugh. Que es eh, reír, reír. Laugh. 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 Laugh, como con yeah. F al final. Exacto, José. That's Love. right. Laugh. Mm, number seven. Number seven wave, que es como el movimiento de esta mano, mover la mano, this way. Love. Uh -huh. Number eight. Number eight. Okay, any other? Are we, maybe you have doubts? Uh -huh. También esta palabra wave lo podemos tomar eh, como ola también, las olas del mar the waves of the oceans. Y también como verbo. Okay, so let's do some questions, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, vamos a crear unas oraciones or some questions to practice the verbs, right? Okay, utilizando el verbo fall. Describamos this picture, number one. Podemos decir, she falls. falls, right? She falls. Okay, what about number two? 
Number two, what about number two? El verbo is she talk. Estamos en negativo, right? She talks. In negative? Ah, uh, eh, she doesn't talk. Not right. She doesn't. Yes, Alison? Doesn't talk. Mm -hmm. uh, the verb fall is the same uh, verb that you use to say fall in love. Uh, fall, uh, it is the same, like, fall, the same expression, right? Pero, como le vamos a agregar, fall in love, ya tiene otro sentido. Yes, ya tiene otro sentido. If we add, si agregamos el fall in love. Okay. 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 So, let's go with the number three, touch. ¿Qué podemos decir about touch? Una oración. He uh, touched. He touched. Mm, touch his hand. He touched. Touch. He mm. touches, right? His. Okay. Okay. His brothers. Brothers. Mm. Okay. Uh, what about number four? Podemos agregar that he is standing, right? In the study PA, he is standing. Okay, so that is like uh, the verbs, right? Tenemos el number five, she, podemos agregar, she lies down. So there we have some of the verbs, right? Lo que tenemos que aplicar are the rules. Plus, we are talking about he, she, or it. And in the case that we have with today, we know the rest. Okay, ahí tenemos part of the vocabulary. Let's continue. Is there any questions, guys? No? Okay. So let's move on to the next activity. Vamos a, we're going to have this reading activity and before going over that activity, I want you to tell me uh, the statements. Which statements are true for you? ¿Cuáles son los statements? Que eh, usted está de acuerdo, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Wendy, in your case, hablar acerca del internet. ¿Con cuáles statements usted está agree, de acuerdo, agree with? Uh -huh. Tenemos make new friends in chat. El internet es un lugar para qué? A place in your phone, right? Make new friends in chat. Spend your free time. Listen to music. Find information is your English. ¿Con cuáles statements estamos de acuerdo? You are agree with. Oh, yes, right. We have practice mm -hmm. English. ¿Qué más? What else, Wendy? Find information. And find information. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, what about uh, you, Andrea? Which statements you agree with? Mm. Uh, need to find information. Mm -hmm. Find information. Uh, listen to music. Listen to music, right? Mm -hmm. And practice. My English. Yes, right. Pra practice English. Too. Okay, there you go. La mayoría, we are uh, in agreement that listen to me, find and practice English. Okay, it is what we use the internet for. Okay, vamos a leer acerca del internet. So, vamos a ver si somos adictos, right, to the internet. Let's see. Can you help me? Uh, let's see. Jonathan, welcome, please. Can you help me read uh, the information, please? 
Good evening. Good evening, uh, Jonathan. So, are you desde arriba or on, on the so? You can start with the paragraph. Yeah. So, you love the internet. Internet. Internet, yeah. It's a great place to find information or go shopping. It's fun, but do you spend a lot of time online? Expert say six percent. Uh, percent, percent. Percent. Mm -hmm. percent of internet user are internet added. They are always online. Internet addicts are often young people, say one expert, and they usually have problems with family, friends, work, and school. Take this quiz. If you answer yes to all the this, this question, maybe you are an internet addict. Okay, there you have, right? So we have here uh, a quiz, right? Whether we are internet addicts or not. Okay, I'm going to give you some time and you are going to tell me if you are a internet addict. Okay, let's try to answer that. Tratemos de responder de esto. And... At the end, usted me va a decir, you're going to tell me if you are an internet addict. Okay, we have the first question. Do you spend a lot of time in the internet? Yes or no? Do you think or talk about the internet all the time? Are your friends internet friends? More friends, right, in the internet. Is the internet your only hobby? Do you ever miss appointments because you are online? Okay, what can you tell me? Let's see. And um, maybe uh, Raquel, Raquel, are you an internet addict? Um, no, no, no. Okay, no. Why not? Why not? Por qué no? Why not? Um, no, 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 no sé. Uh -huh. Yo no soy right an internet addict because podemos decir que no he pasa mucho tiempo right. I wow. don't uh -huh. spend too much time online. Okay, there you have. Okay, thank you. What about uh, you? Um, let's see, Cynthia. What about you, Cynthia? Are you an internet addict? I am not. <laughs> you are not. Why not? Why not? Because in my world, I don't use it. I cell phone all the time. Okay, you don't use it. That's right. You don't use it. <laughs> Maybe the company, right? Las compañías doesn't allow, no permiten the companies. The companies do not allow the use of right? of the cell phone. Okay, that's right. That is a policy, right? Okay, thank you, yeah. Cynthia. Okay, so what about you, Sofia? Are you an internet addict? Um, Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. It's for me, right? Yes, 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 Sofia. Why not? Um, I'm not because um, uh. The same part of Cynthia, my work no, no, sé, no, sé, no me permite. Okay, yes, right. My work doesn't. My work doesn't. Doesn't allow me to 
use the cell phone. Yes, right. Yes. Okay, there you have, right? Most of us are not addicts, but maybe in the weekend we are. Okay, so let's continue. And in this time, you are going to answer the following part with your partners. Vamos a discuss, right? These questions with your partners based on the on the on the reading or your personal information. Okay, eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Vamos a speak, right? Vamos a discuss this question. The first one, how many users, internet users are addicts? Según la lectura, right? What problems do internet addicts have? Hay aquí algunas respuestas, but others you may uh, know them, right? Where do the internet addicts go for help? ¿A dónde es que van los internet addicts for help? What are some things the internet addicts do? Okay, so this was the speaker partners. We're going to be working in pairs. And let's go. Let's see. It's going to be like two or three minutes, right? For you to discuss. Solo unos dos o tres minutos for you to discuss this. Okay, let's go. Hello, uh, TLC, no sé si me puede ayudar con su nombre. Hello. Si me ayuda con su nombre, TLC, please.
Okay, guys, let's answer the questions, right? They were four questions, so let's try to answer them. So let's see. Um, let's see the first one. How many internet users are addicts? Okay, what can you tell me, Wendy, please? What is the answer to that question? Okay. Um, number one, how many? Okay, eh, sería de 6%. Yes, right, the 6% of business, right? 6%. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Wendy. Most of them, most of them, right, are young people. La mayoría, most of them are young people. Okay, so what about number two? What problems do internet addicts have? Okay, what can you tell me, Magali? What can you tell me, Magali, about the problems? Mm -hmm. Magali? I'm sorry, the microphone. Okay. Uh, problem with family, mm -hmm. friends, work, and school. Yes, right, that's right. And this, these are some like uh, some not too hard ones, not to the ones that are so tough. Pero el internet is causing a lot of troubles now on this a lot. Okay, thank you, Magali. We have the number three. Where do internet addicts go for help? Where do they go? Uh, maybe. Where do they go when they have problems? Hello, maybe? Okay. okay, what can you tell me, Victor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Victor, hello? What can you tell me? Where do the internet addicts go for help? Is that okay? So, what can you tell me, Andrea, please, about that question? Where do internet addicts go? Give a more option for entertainment, for example, play a, a sport, mm -hmm. read a book, learn mm -hmm. a new activity. Yes, right. They usually, yeah. maybe they can go to the school to write with their parents or to do some of the activities. So, as well, one of the activities that Andrea mentioned. Okay, that's right. What are some things internet addicts do? ¿Cuáles son algunas activities, right, that internet addicts do? What can you tell me? Okay, Emma. In the last question, what are some things, ¿Cuáles son algunas cosas, right? Things that internet addicts do. Mm -hmm. Emma? Hello, Emma. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Emma. Es lo que ellos hacen, right? Addicts. Al internet, to the internet. Es lo que ellos hacen. Ellos pasan mucho tiempo, right? In the internet, they spend a lot of time, right? In the internet, uh -huh. you spend a lot of. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They spend a lot of time. También pueden they spend, they spend their parents' money, right? Their parents' money. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más hacen ellos? What else do they do? They can find, pueden encontrar bad persons, right? The internet. 
las armas van o sea, ellos tienen que right en the internet mm -hmm. or see or watch movies right that are bad okay there's a lot of things right with the internet okay let's continue with the lesson we have for today and uh, vamos a ver how to avoid some common mistakes when we are using the simple present. Vamos a ver qué no debemos hacer right? when we use the simple present. Okay, the first aspect is that we have to use do with plural subjects and with you, right? Tenemos que utilizar el do with plural subjects. Y con el sujeto, right? Tenemos does your roommate. Tenemos plural, so vamos a utilizar do. Tenemos use, does, with singular objects, except you. Vamos a utilizar el does con objetos en singular. Tenemos el, el, el is alarm, un objeto, so vamos a utilizar does. Then we have do, does, and simple questions we have. Cuando estamos utilizando uh, have, right? Se mantiene have. Solo cambia do, does. Do you have, right? Then we have number four. Do not use do or does in questions with do. Es important. No debemos utilizar eh, el do cuando tengamos el verbo to be. No podemos decir do yourself on me. No. Is. Yourself on me. And then we have number five. Do you use, not use, right? Do with other simple present verbs. No debemos confundir the do with the verb to be. No sé si hay or questions about the common mistakes that we sometimes may can have, right? Mm -hmm. Questions? Oh, teacher. In to practice. Yeah? ¿Cuándo vamos a poder identificar si tenemos que poner el verbo to be o do o does? Okay. Good question. Okay. Usualmente el do y el does eh, van seguidos de una estructura, right? Tenemos en el caso de preguntas, sería el eh, do o does. Más el, más el verbo, right? va a indicar si tengo verbo. El verbo me va a decir que debo utilizar el do o el das. En el caso del verbo to be, el verbo to be va al principio de la, de la question. Y luego tenemos el sujeto y luego tenemos un complemento. Right. Entonces, si se fija acá, no tenemos ningún verbo. Eso lo que nos va a indicar es el verbo que estamos aplicando. Por ejemplo, um, is she smart? Acá tenemos el verbo y acá tenemos el complemento. Right? Es el... Intelligent or smart? Entonces la clave es identificar el verbo. No sé si hay alguna otra duda. Eh, Teacher, una consulta. Uh -huh. en, el, en la fórmula que está colocando sobre el to be, uh -huh. ¿era el verbo to be? Uh -huh. En pregunta. ¿La vale. segunda? Okay. ¿Era el verbo to be? Uh -huh. y más el sujeto. Ajá, más el sujeto. Ajá. Uh -huh. más, el más el complemento. complemento, yes. uh -huh. complemento. Ok, thanks. Yes, Alison. Eh, en el último ejemplo, en el número 5, ¿por qué no puede ser Are you agree? Así como estás tú de acuerdo. Ah, oh, porque agree es el verbo. Agree. Si usted va a utilizar el verbo to be para decir estás de acuerdo, sería are you in agreement? Esa es la expresión. Oh, ¿No? sí. Are you in agreement? 
Oh, okay. it is, that is the other way. Pero acá tenemos el verbo agree. That's why. No sé que está el verbo solito, por así decirlo. Entonces va el, el auxiliar do. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Thanks. Uh -huh. Y en la cuatro, ¿cuál sería el verbo? En la cuatro, este, tenemos acá, right? Tenemos el verbo to ah, be. es que como es to be, es cierto, uh -huh. gracias. Ok. Entonces, lo tenemos, right? Lo que les mencionaba antes. Tenemos el verbo to be. Luego tenemos el sujeto. Y si nos fijamos después del sujeto, no tenemos ni un solo verbo. Entonces, por lo tanto, voy a utilizar. Ok, la regla general es que el do o el da siempre va a ir acompañado de un verbo. Right? En caso de questions, negatives también. Ok, si hay alguna otra duda, guys. No questions. Ok. Este, uh -huh. teacher. Yes, es tell me. Parte, yo creo que la más, bueno, al menos a mí es la que más me cuesta y por eso a veces me desubico bastante. Entonces, quizás profundizar más con esos ejemplos. Uh -huh. eh, con el do y el verbo to be. Sí. Ok, vamos a hacer más prácticas, ok. Ok. Thank you. No problem. Ok, vamos entonces to practice this part. Vamos a encontrar, we are going to find the correct uh, way to say it, right? Vamos a ver, vamos a corregir, we are going to correct. Ok, so we have the first one. Have you traveled falling asleep? Have you traveled falling asleep? Aquí está incorrecto, right? Porque no podemos decir, have you traveled? Falling asleep. Entonces vamos a utilizar do you have. Vamos a ver la number two. Are you asleep on your stomach, your back, or your side? What, ¿Estará correcto? ¿Is that correct? No. Because oh, okay. we have the verb no. sleep. Yeah. That's right, guys. There you go. Tenemos el verbo sleep. Sleep. Entonces vamos a utilizar, ¿qué do. vamos a utilizar? Do, right? Do you. Do you, right? Do, do you. Do you live? On your stomach, your back, or the other. Okay, what about number three? Have you a TV in your bathroom? Do you have? Do you have? Mm -hmm. Do you have? Do you have? Yes, right. Do you have? Do you have, right? Somebody here. Do you have? Tú tienes, right? Do you have? A TV. What about four? Does Joe, does you dream in color or in black and white? Sería. Sería, are you dream? ¿Tenemos un verbo? ¿Tenemos algún verbo ahí? Dream. 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 Ajá, el verbo soñar, right? Do you dream? Okay. Do. It does. Sería do. Sería do porque tenemos do. Do. blue, you. right? Yes. Ok, sí. Sí. Ok, entonces damos el das y agregamos el do. Okay. ok, important. Muy bien lo que acabamos de hacer. Ver el sujeto, right? Ver el yes, sujeto yes. y ver el check the verb. What about the number five? Do a dream ever scare you? Does a dream? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque Why ahí no se está hablando del sujeto, sino que está acompañado de un verbo. Exactly right. Pues entonces, el verbo scare. Tenemos el verbo scare. Y tenemos el sujeto a dream. Entonces, does a dream ever scare you? What about number six? Does loud noises wake you up? 
Loud que es eh, muy fuertes. Das loud noises wake at night. Noise. Noise. That's loud. Up at night. Identifiquemos el sujeto, right? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? What is the subject? Uh -huh. Sujeto. Loud. Uh -huh. Noise. Sería loud noises. Tenemos un verbo. Do we have a verb? Wake. 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 Entonces, ¿estar? ¿Qué voy a utilizar? What can I use instead? Ok. Como tengo plural, right? Voy a quitar el das. Y voy a agregar el do. 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 Uh -huh. Recordemos en, en lo que vimos anteriormente, right? El do lo vamos a utilizar con objetos en plural, right? O con palabras en plural. Aquí tenemos noises, no sonidos. Ok. So what about the next one? Do you a light sleeper? Or a deep sleeper. Este está muy bien. This is a good one. Mm -hmm. Entonces no sería das. Mm -hmm. Das. Mm -hmm. ¿Tenemos algún otro verbo? Uh -huh. Eres tú. O también podemos agregar un verbo más ahí. ¿Qué otra opción tenemos? What is another option? Uh -huh. Any options, guys? Uh -huh. We have the, the word light sleeper. Light sleeper. Sueño ligero. Yes, Andrea? Teacher, uh -huh. como no hay verbo, hay que colocar uno. Podemos, yes. Tenemos dos opciones. Two options. Eh, are you a light sleeper? Are you a light Muy bien. Are you? Are you? That's right. Oh. También podemos agregar el do you have right? Do you have a light sleep or a deep sleep? Podemos agregar eso. Ok, what about number eight? Does you fall asleep quickly? Does do you do? fall asleep quickly? Yes, right. Do you? Muy bien, do you? Do you? Ok. Vamos a hacer more practices, right? You there to be in the do best questions. Okay, let's continue. Vamos a seguir entonces with the lesson. And vamos a uh, review this part about the, the time expression. Una time expressions que podemos utilizar with the simple present. Tenemos las preguntas que ya las estudiamos. Eh, do, does, etc. Right? 
Eh, acá no, también podemos ver que las, las respuestas son largas. Es get up early on Sundays. No, I get up late. Does he eat breakfast at seven o'clock? No, he eats breakfast at. Ya no es una respuesta corta, right? It's a long answer. Do they take a taxi to, to class? No, they take the bus. Para responder, the answer, sorry, to answer. Okay, do that questions about this part? Question. No, okay. So, tenemos entonces the next part. Tenemos what time, a qué hora, right? What time do you get up? Las WH questions. También, en algunas más adelante vamos a ver others. Tenemos what time does. Estamos hablando de shift, right? Then we have um, when do they, cuando, right? When. And we have on Mondays and Wednesdays. Ahora tenemos time. Como podemos utilizar at. Por ejemplo, I get up at. 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. Then we have a from. Desde hasta right. From. I go to work. I go to work from. Veamos, ahí me dijeron 7.30. 7.30 to 5. PM. Then we have the next one. In the morning. Vamos a utilizar in the with morning, afternoon, and evening. And on lo vamos a utilizar para los días de la semana. For example, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, etc. Then we have uh, um, basically that is the thing. No sé si hay alguna duda about that part. No, okay. Estas son como extra vocabulary, right? That you can add when you are uh, talking about routines. So help me with this information. Okay. Do it together. Um, we are going to order, right? Vamos a ordenar the question. Tenemos the first one. We have the first one. What time do you eat dinner? Tenemos the, the time, right? At 7 p.m. So what is going to be the question for number two? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Tenemos you every morning. Check your messages. Do you check your messages? Check your message every morning. Uh -huh. Let's see. Do you check your messaging every morning? That's right. Do you check your message every every morning? morning. Uh -huh. Do you check your message every morning? Yes. Yeah. I check. My messages mm -hmm. every morning. Okay, what about number three? What is going to be number three? Does at seven o'clock start display at? Does uh -huh. this class start this class start at start at seven o'clock? That's right. Does this class start at seven o'clock? Very good. No, this class starts at eight o'clock. What about four? Do you listen to music when? No. Do you listen to music when? Do you listen to music? 
Oh, uh, when, when, when do you when listen? You, when do you listen? When do you? <laughs> when do when you, you, do you listen to music? Recordemos el orden, Brian. El orden es, primero, si tenemos una WH questions al principio, luego uh -huh. el auxiliar dudas, esto, and the verb. Okay. What about the last one? Do, do you, you and your, your friends, friends mm -hmm. weekend play sports on the sports. Do you and your friends? Do you and your friends play a sport? Mm -hmm. Play sports oh. on the weekend. weekend. Ok, no sé si hay alguna duda, any question. Uh -huh. No questions, guys. Recordemos la, la estructura, right? La estructura para las WH questions primero la WH question, luego ya sea do o das. Luego el subject, right? Subject. And then the verb. That is structure that you have to focus. That is the main structure. Okay, so let's continue. No questions. No, okay, perfect, guys. Vamos a hablar. We are going to continue with the next activity es donde ustedes van a poder practice the speaking part. Let's go uh, to this activity and then you are going to be working on the breakout rooms. Vamos a escuchar este pequeño listening. Ustedes me indican the schedule right that Marcia has. Okay, vamos a escuchar and then you tell me. Page 40, exercise 8. Listening. Marcia's weekly routine. Listen to Marcia talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. So I get up around seven o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. So, I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Okay, let's listen one more time, right? Page 40, Exercise 8. Listening. Marcia's Weekly Routine. Listen to Marcia talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh. And I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. 
So, I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. I think some viewer has something to say, right? Okay, let's try to answer this part. Okay, tell me, uh, when does or which days you get up early? Mm -hmm. Saturday. Saturday? Solo Saturday? Yes. Only Saturday? Monday to Friday. Yes, right. It is from Monday to Friday. Muy bien. That's right. Okay. What about uh, she works? The days that she works? On Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. On Saturday? Okay. Saturday. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Okay, she works on Saturday. Okay, I'm going to share that part right. Let's listen. Page 40, exercise 8. Listening. Marsha's weekly routine. Listen to Marsha talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. Okay, so it is going to be only on Saturday. On Saturday. Yes. What about the exercise? <laughs> Monday, Monday, Tuesday, 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 Thursday, yes, Tuesday, 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 Sunday. 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 What about study? Every, Every day. day. Every, Every day. Yes. Every day. Every day. Every day. She studies. Too much work, right? Okay. Do you study every day, guys? Says, do you study every day? Not. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are too tired, right? To study. But there are some people, persons that study. Page. Okay. So, uh, vamos a dejar this activity para el final, para extras and extra practice. Vamos a continue with this activity about the strangest job, right? ¿Han escuchado algunos trabajos que sean como raros, strangest jobs? If so, which are they? ¿Ya los han escuchado algunos trabajos que son super strange? Have you ever listened? For example, in Japan, Por ejemplo, there are some persons, some Japanese, ¿Sí? que les pagan, right, para que empujen los trains. So, that is the job they have. ¿Conocen algún otro? Do you know any other guys? Any other job? Uh -huh. From El Salvador, maybe? Do we have a strangers or strange jobs? Tenemos algún trabajo que sea maybe strange. Maybe not right. Okay, vamos a ver this video about some of the strangest jobs in the world. Let's see. Y al final del video, ustedes me van a decir um, what are some jobs that are strange. Okay. No sé si pueden ver la pantalla con this in my screen. Yes. yes. Okay, let's take a look of these jobs. Let's see.
about jobs, we tend to think about the usual boring ones. Librarian, construction worker. However, there are many other very strange jobs that need to be done too. Here are 10 of the weirdest jobs in the world. No before you go. Number one, odor evaluator worldwide. Do you remember those commercials when you see someone chewing gum after having lunch and he says, ah, fresh breath? Well, there are some guys smelling people's breath whilst chewing all different mm. kinds of gum to get the fresh smelling result. Number two, Duck Master, USA. This bizarre job is tradition in the Peabody hotels of Memphis, Little Rock and Orlando since 1940. A trained duck master marches a troop of ducks into the lobby every morning for the guests to admire and take photos. After completing their three month stint, the duck master then takes them on a holiday tour, visiting schools and senior centers. Some would say it's quackers. Number three. Ash Portrait Artist, Missouri. When one of our relatives die and we want to keep their ashes, we don't always know what to do with them. Put them on a shelf, scatter them by a tree. However, there are some artists that can use them to create a portrait of the person that died. So now their remains can become a picture on the wall. Number four, Professional Apologizer, Japan. Okay, this one only happens, guess where? That's right, in Japan. Japanese people are so hard working that they can take care of pretty much anything. Anything but saying sorry, apparently. So they hire a professional to go to the offended person's residence and ask for their forgiveness in the most respectful way. Number five, professional hitchhiker, Indonesia. In Indonesia, the government has restricted some lanes of traffic to only cars with three or more people. So these trained professionals will offer their company in your car in case you can't fill the car with three people. Now you can enjoy the insane traffic with two paid strangers in your car. Yay! <laughs> Number six, professional elephant dresser, Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, they perform a lot of ceremonies involving elephants. The problem is that they put clothes on the elephant, and as you can imagine, they're very hard to get dressed. So these professionals manage to get the elephant ready for the event. Number seven, bike fishermen, Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, the ground is so flat that most people ride a bike instead of using a car. The thing is that many of those bikes end up in the canal when people don't want them anymore. So these fishermen hunt and fish them out of the water to keep it clean. Number eight, professional mourner, Asia. It's very sad when someone dies, but it's even sadder when no one turns up to that person's funeral. The professional mourners are hired to go to the cemetery and cry for the deceased as if he were their best friend. Number nine, Oshia, Japan. In Japan, it's almost mandatory to use the metro. It's very extensive and connects everywhere. But when there are too many people, these professionals take action. They cram people into the carriages in order to get the doors closed. Uh. Number 10, professional sleeper, Finland. In Finland, they're very concerned about sleeping well. So these professionals are paid to test mattresses, pillows and quilts, write reports on comfort, room lighting, feelings, noise disruption and other comfy details, just to make sure that you're going to get the best sleep possible. What's the weirdest job you've ever done? Comment below! Okay, there you'd see some of the weirdest, right? Some of the strangest jobs. Which one I caught your attention? First, they jump on attention. Which one caught your attention, guys? What about uh, you, Rosana? What is it que le llamo? What, which one caught your attention? Mm, professional sleeper. The professional sleeper, right? Yes. <laughs> Ese es el que más. Yes, I like it too. <laughs> Okay, what about uh, you, Cynthia? ¿Cuál le llamó la atención? Which one caught your attention? Uh, number eight, professional mm -hmm. mourner. 
de professional molder, los que los dolientes, Brian, que van al funeral yeah. and they start crying without knowing you. Okay, that can be a joke, <laughs> right? If you don't have friends in life, so maybe we yeah. can think about the that. Time crying in the funeral. Yeah, be uh, they are going to pay you, right? Would you do yeah. that? Yeah, haría eso usted? Lo haría, would you do that? Lo haría, ese trabajo, would you do that? Mm, llorar, yes. llorar. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, why not, right? Okay, so let's go with uh, the activity that we are going to have. Okay, based on the video, right? Or in the internet, you can search some of the jobs. You are going to uh, choose three jobs. You're going to choose three jobs and you're going to create a presentation. You're going to include a picture, the name of the job, and what do they do. So you are going to describe what do they do and you're going to present it here in the class. So do you have questions about the activity? Questions? Sería una, una consulta. Uh -huh. Sería yeah. eh, con respecto a las tres que tendríamos que hacer de las que vimos ahorita. De, de la, you can choose, de yeah. You can choose from the video or from the internet. You can look in the web and uh, choose the strangest. Podemos elegir del video, yes, or in the internet. Okay. Okay. First, one thing, en la presentación no vamos a incluir eh, mucha información, solo la, la imagen, right, y el nombre. Además, usted, you're going to explain it. Okay. Okay, so let's go, guys. Tenemos las situaciones simples, right, lo que hemos estudiado. Eh, putting to practice the rules. And vamos a estar, well, we're going to have a good. Recordemos, van a ser como cinco, around five sentences en la descripción for you to speak. In the top of the breakout rooms, van a ser three, and pictures, names, and the description. And that. Okay, questions? That you are going to go to the breakout rooms. Perdón, teacher, este, son tres imágenes. Tres imágenes, muy bien. Tres pictures. Eh, y de esas vamos a colocar el eh, name of the, de ella. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y. Y vamos a describirlo, right. Ah, ok. Recordemos que van a ser tres trabajos. Three jobs. Ok. Perfect. Ok. okay. okay. Y, y información, eh, no, vamos a, no vamos a copiar el párrafo, no, solo la imagen y el nombre del trabajo. That's it. Pero además, usted, you are going to explain it. Okay, so let's go, guys. Let me just... Okay, let's go. Hello, Vero, and um, in TCL. Hola, hola, teacher, me llamó, perdón. Sí, aquí estamos en los breakout rooms. Eh, para, es, hay, para unirnos, ¿verdad? Sí, para unirnos. Es que, es que se me, ajá, es que solo vi y, y se me desapareció. No me pude unir. Vaya, lo que vamos a hacer es que usted va a trabajar sola. Porque no sé quién sea el que esté, que esté ahí, pero iba con usted. 
Entonces, vamos a buscar dos en su caso, porque usted va a trabajar sola, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, veamos si le puedo enviar nuevamente. Okay, let's go, Vero. Hello, Vero, ¿qué pasó? What happened? Hello, hello, acá estoy. <laughs> Vamos a intentarlo. Vamos a nuevamente. Intentemos ver, please. No, pero no sí. sé qué pasa. No, no, la, no la quieren. Las... <risa> Ay, no. Ellas me sacan. Qué mal. Él es mala teleza, le voy a... <risa> Bien, vamos a intentarlo nuevamente. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Sí. Vamos. Vale. Intentémoslo, Vero.
Hello, Alejandra, did you finish? No, teacher, me sacó del grupo. Ok, yo dije, está lista, Alejandra. Dije <ríe> no, me quedé a medias con el compañero, pero es que no, no sé cómo me sacó el teléfono. Ok, estábamos con Dennis. Sí, correcto. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Hello, Cynthia, did you finish? Hello, hola. No? Hello, Cynthia, did you finish?
Hello, Cynthia. Hola, no sé si me escuchan. Hola, hola, Cynthia. Hola, hola, Cynthia. Hola, Cintia. Hola, Cintia. Hey guys, okay, hope you are good, guys. Uh, remember that uh, you have to present the picture. Okay, so we start. I don't know if I have volunteers. Volunteers, guys? No? Okay. So let's choose, give me a number, please. Oh, okay, Stephanie. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yes. My profession is. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, pues, so la, la imagen. ¿A dónde la pongo? La imagen es en una presentación. Okay, para que ustedes puedan compartir. Okay. Ah, bueno. Okay, Stephanie. Ah, pues después la voy a entrar. Solo se la voy a mandar ahí para que la vean cuál es. Ah, ok. Ahí en él. El... Ok. Ya sabes. Sí. Vale. <ríe> eh, eh, professional Food Taster. Ok. Eh, this job is try food. And this job is perfect with me. <laughs> <laughs> this job is easy. O sea, fácil, ¿verdad? Easy. This job is delicious and classify classify if it is rich or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so professional food taster. That's nice. Yes. So you have to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're going to be all the time. <laughs> That's a good one. Who else works with you? Who else works with you? Eh, eh, Gabriela trabajó okay. con me. Gabriela. Okay. Gabriela, recordemos que son three jobs, right? Okay, so are you ready? Wait. Uh... Yes, but oh. eh, solo puede ser uno. Mm. I choose bed tester. Eh, in this job, eh, they tester the mattresses. It's the colchon uh, for a company during the manufacturing phase. Uh, the activity consists of lying down and sleeping on a mattress to evaluate the comfort. And also they evaluate pillows and bedspread. Bedspread is on a colchon. Uh, they must be a uh, legal age. Uh, they have, uh, and finally, they must analyze the design of the beds and the pillows and beds 
Hello. Uh, teacher, I uh, only uh, have a uh, one profession. Okay, we have a Yeah, have a with Fred. Okay, let's go with the next group. Cynthia, Jonathan, and so. Ready, guys? Hello. Hello? Um, okay. Okay. Um, professional elephant dresser. Uh, this job is amazing for me because I've in the actually can use the dresser the animals, no only the human. <laughs> not, not only even the dogs, right? Are dressing. Yes. Okay. I I don't I don't think in the animals, only the human. In the actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I can but just that is changing. That is changing a lot. Now everybody yes. has <laughs> the enemies. Okay, that's a cool job. Okay, the next person is Jonathan and he said, ready? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Are you using the phone or Jonathan? No, listen. Hey, Jonathan? Yes. A professional sleeper. A kid simply, simply, a professional sleeper is someone who gets paid to sleep. They generally to this as part of the science research for set on analyzing sleep parents or evaluating the quality of various sleep related products yeah right the professional sleeper evaluate the quality right of the products. Okay, perfect. Jonathan, please, Jose. Okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, is a dog master, professional dog master. Um, in, in America, in USA, America, May on average salary of almost sixty-one thousand dollars. Sixty-one thousand dollars. Oh, four year. Four year. For four years. What años? Four, four years. Yeah, no. Uh, por año. Ah, per year. Per year. Per year. Per year. Mm -hmm. Per year. Okay, uh, existing, existing, mm -hmm. existing grid car uh, for for dog master, pin for three three thousand three mil dollars. 
3,000. Mm -hmm. 3,000. 3,000. Um, employer who is, who, who is, who is good with water for, for, mm -hmm. for. Okay. Okay, when it is good for water, okay? That's okay. good, that, that's a dog, dog master, right? Yes, dog that's master. true, that's true, it's cierto, that's true. There are some dog masters in the USA, okay? Thank you, Jose, very, very, very interesting job. Okay, the next group is Alison and Raquel. Are you ready, Alison and Raquel? <coughs> Alison? No, Alison? I only have one. Okay, yeah, um, let's see, Alison. Okay, you're going to be at the end of the class. Okay. Okay, the next group, Karina and Wendy. Ready? Only uh, work in professional elephant. In, he's in charge on the training elephant. Ah, no he compartido la imagen. <laughs> Perdón. La imagen. Así la compartí en el grupo. Ay. sabíamos cómo va a ser para después compartirla acá con, con los demás, por eso fue que la, la, la compañera le envió. Sí. Ah, oh, this one. Let me see. Sí. Ok. Ah, sí. Ok, gracias. Eh, he's, he's a change, change on training eh, elephant for show. Other other work is a brush master. Brush master takes care of feeding the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, other professional uh, uh, the sleep uh, sleep. How do you say it? Sleep. Professional es, sleeper. Ah, professional sleeper. Um, his his job is to sleep on time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Uh -huh. Only. Okay, you have been the professional dresser, right? Or and the professional sleeper too. Okay, perfect. So the next okay. one. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Allison or oh no, on oh, Wendy. Wendy, sorry, Wendy. Oh, es que no lo está. That one? No, es professional sleeper. This job is easy. I would like to have this job. Mm -hmm. This job is simple. Is simple. simple. What do they do? Uh, What do they do, Wendy? I would. Mm -hmm. like, ¿Qué es lo que hacen ellos? The professional sleeper. What do they do? Oh, pues solo dormir. <laughs> Just sleep, right? Just sleep. Just okay. Sleep. Yes. All, time. Like All, the time. The time. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, right. They sleep <laughs> All the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Okay, the next group is going to be Roxana and Sofia Portilla. Okay. okay. Um, voy a comenzar yo. No sé si ya okay. pueden ver. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, Duke Food Taster. This is not a nice job because they have to test um different savor for the animals. But the objective 
is get a good savor, consistency and smell in the food for the dogs. The pay of this job is very well and this, this for us is nutritional value on the food. The other is Doug Master. The Doug Master march single file down the carpet uh, like like a pasarela. <laughs> like runway. Uh -huh, of the dukes to the center of the lobby where they hop into the travertine for time to play for, for the day. Ahora, este es el de mi compañera. Okay. Um, the other evaluator is be the link between the customer and the consumer. Uh, the artist knows incentive. In some case, the or is not pleasant. There must be different incentives. Por decir así, aromas, diferentes uh -huh. aromas. Uh, people most like. In some case, the evaluation lose sensitivity to aromas. En algunos casos se perdería el, la sensibilidad a las aromas. Oh, the others, right? That is the same thing for the job. Would you like to do this job? Um, would you like to do this? Job, Roxana, ¿le gustaría hacer este trabajo? Would you like to do this job? No. <laughs> no, right, no. no. Me neither, me neither, yo tampoco. It sounds not so good. That's good, right? But what about the payment? In the payment, ¿qué pasa si es un buen salario? What about the payment? Would you do that job? Tenemos que pensarlo, right? We have to think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about the next job? The next presentation is going to be for Emma and Magali. <coughs> Ready, Emma? Hello, Emma. Hello, Hello. teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, solo que Magali me ayude a compartir la imagen de other evaluator. Okay. Sorry, Magali. Y no, eh, no nos podemos quedar para mañana, ¿ok? Magali, porque ya se nos está acabando el tiempo y tengo que pasar asistencia. Sí, y sí, okay. sí la compartí en el grupo, pero está bien para mañana. Ok, Excelente. ok. Ok, entonces nos quedamos pendientes con eh, los que nos presentaron al principio más los dos finales, right Ok, so, solo paso asistencia and then we finish in the class, right Okay, remember, estamos en la lección número 8, number 8. So you have to finish the quizzes. So let's see, Alejandra is here. Alejandra. Present. Okay. Present. Alison Guadalupe. Alison, yes, there you are. Andrea Present. Maria. Andrea Maria. Present. Andrea. Okay, there Present. you are. And Cynthia Esther, Cynthia. Ahí está, there you are. Dennis, Dennis. Oh, yes, there you are. Dora Guadalupe. Dora, no. No. Elizabeth Magali. Elizabeth Magali. Present. Okay, thank you. Emma Gloria. Present. Okay, thank you. And Gabriela Mar Gabriela Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Jonathan Alexis. There you are. Jose Luis. Uh, yeah. okay, thank you. Karina del Carmen. Karina Present. del Carmen. Okay. Maybe Marvelin. Present. Okay, thank you. Raquel Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Roxana Lisette. Yes. Present. Let's see. Ruth Veronica. Ruth Veronica. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Sophia Stephanie. Sofía Stephanie. Present. Okay, thank you, Sofía. Um, Stephanie Raquel. Stephanie Raquel. Present. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. And Victor Manuel. Victor. No. And Wendy Selenia. Wendy. Oh, yes, there you are. Thank you. Okay, guys. 
See you tomorrow. Rest a lot and good night, guys. See you. Si hay alguien que se quiera quedar, bye, good night. Acá. See you guys. Bye, good night. Good night. See you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. See you. Sí, sí, nos vamos a quedar eh, Vero o Denis. No, no, me equivoqué. No. No. Ok, eh, no. con usted, Denis, ¿se va a quedar? Sí. Ok, entonces vamos a quedar. Ok, no sé si tengamos alguna duda de algún tema que queramos reforzar, Denis. Sí, quisiera eh, ver si me puede mandar. Bueno, en cada lección que vamos avanzando, siempre hay una parte de gramática. Uh -huh. El orden de las y y el orden de, de, de los verbos. Entonces, no sé si esa parte me la podría mandar. ¿La de este día? Um, de las diferentes clases. Fíjese que mandárselas así completas no puedo porque la, la, eh, la presentación es bastante grande. Entonces, no me permite subirla. Lo que sí hago es en las clases les estoy mandando las, las, las imágenes que estamos utilizando. No sé si alguna que le haga falta para poder la enviar. Bueno, por lo menos las de este día. Ah, las de este día. Las de este día también ya se las compartí. Solo eh, me hizo falta quizás del vocabulario. Déjenme ver. Solo esa más que todo. Las demás sí se las he compartido. Esta creo que todavía no se las voy a compartir. Las de este día. Para que las... Hoy vimos más que no fue mucha gramática. Ok, más que todo fue de vocabulario. Permítanme. Y después de todas estas clases, va a haber un repaso de todo. Mm, fíjese que usted dice un, como algo general o... Ajá, como un repaso de todos los temas que hemos ido pasando. Fíjese que no, porque cada día nos da un tema diferente. Por eso, okay. por eso es que se, se refuerza con esto de los quizzes que hacen ustedes en la plataforma. Ahí ustedes van reforzando el tema que, que están viendo. Okay. Ya, por... entonces, más que todo, de esa forma hacemos como un refuerzo. Uh -huh. Por uh -huh. si hay algo que no quedó claro en algún tema. Uh -huh. No sé si tengo alguna duda con algún tema. Uh, no, más que todo era esa parte gramatical de cada lección para poder repasarlo. Sí, la, pero esas la... se, las, se las he compartido eh, lo que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Todos están en el grupo. Ok, voy a revisar entonces más despacio. Va, está bien. Eh, si le hace falta alguna, usted me invita y yo se la puedo subir. Ok. Ok, no sé si tengo okay. alguna otra duda. Dennis. Solamente. Okay. Solamente. Perfect, Dennis. Entonces, see you tomorrow and have a good night, Dennis. Good night. Thank you. Good night.